Uh, hi folks and uh, welcome to the uh, cavalry battle. This was the uh, midweek uh, movement of week six and uh, amalgamated into a uh, cavalry battle between the uh, French and the uh, Austrians, pursuing Austrians. Um, I'm going to be using uh, these uh, rules which are um, Sabre, Sovereign and Shako, written by Chris Walton. Uh, nice free-flowing uh, card-driven game, so um, ideal for solo play. Um, let's swing over and have a closer look, if we can, at the uh, troops. And uh, we have um, Austrian, um, some Austrian Dragoons. Uh, quite a large contingent and some uh, Austrian um, Hussars and they're uh, taking on a mixed contingent of uh, at the back the um, French Dragoons, the provisional uh, troops uh, next to them in the blue you've got the Saxon Hussars and in the uh, red you have the uh, Saxon Uhlans. Um I'm not going to give a blow-by-blow -blow account uh, of the battle, but uh, I'll uh, sort of pop in backwards and forwards as the action uh, happens, and uh, so I'll be back in a bit. Hi folks, quick uh, recap. This is the end of uh, the movement of turn one. Um, as you can see, the uh, Austrian Dragoons and Hussars are pretty much uh, moving into their formations. Uh, the Saxon Hussars and the uh, Saxon Uhlans are... Uh, moving down to engage as well. The uh, French Dragoons are um, still sort of waiting in column. I think they're going to play a waiting game or <laughs> just move in on the flank. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll, I'll be back in a bit. Uh, yeah, and you can see the, uh, the Austrian Hussars and the uh, Saxon Uhlans are uh, pretty much going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, as are the... Um, Austrian Dragoons and the uh, Saxon Hussars as well. Uh, it's pretty much even Stevens at the moment in the combat. Uh, I'll get back to you uh, in a bit. Hi, back again, and uh, it's the end of uh, turn four. And uh, the uh, Austrians basically are uh, pushing back the uh, Saxons. I think sheer weight of number, I think, uh, more than quality. But uh, yeah, it looks like um, the Austrians are being. Uh, a bit uh, doing better on the field, should we say, at the present. Uh, French Dragoons are just looking at them in a the moment. I think they're edging their bets, uh, but I'm sure they're going to throw their weight into the combat soon. Uh, see you in a bit. Uh, back again, folks, and uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty hot up now. Um, the uh, Uhlans have been uh, driven back, but they rallied, and the uh, French Dragoons have waded in now against the uh, Austrian Hussars. Um, they took a bit of a battering, uh, the Austrian Hussars, so uh, I think they're going to need the, some backup. And uh, yeah, here come the uh, Austrian Dragoons to uh, give them a bit of a bit of a weight as well. So uh, it's uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I must admit, it's quite enjoyable playing a um, all cavalry battle. Uh, I'll uh, get back to you in a bit. Our folks back again. Uh, the um, Saxon Hussars have been broken and they're uh, skedaddling up the hill, and uh, the uh, which means now the um, let's see if I can zoom in one way. The uh, Austrians are now putting some pretty much heavy pressure on the uh, French dragoons. I think uh, the uh, they're going to make a run for it. I think the Austrians are yeah pretty much going to win this one. Um, I'll uh, get back to you with a quick summary of the battle. See you now. Uh, folks, uh, this is the end of the uh, cavalry battle. That was a real sharp action, I must admit. Uh, <laughs> uh, casualties were pretty light on all sides, so uh, the uh, Dragoons took a bit of a battering when they got sort of squeezed between the uh, Austrian sort of uh, attack from the flank as well, but uh, they managed to get themselves out. Uh, they're being chased off by the uh, Austrian Hussars, so um, that's pretty much it. Um, as I say, casualties weren't too bad, so uh, we're 
they'll uh, they'll just basically amalgamate what they've got together at the end of the, at the end of this turn and i'll um, do the map movement for the rest of week six uh to see uh, how how things turn out uh i'll get back to you soon uh bye for now hi folks and uh welcome back to the uh campaign after um a bit of a, a bout of illness and a hard fought cavalry battle we were back onto the uh, campaign map uh this is the uh, end of the uh week six movement and um we'll start off with the uh, center here um as you can see you've got uh, the two french corps here that have amalgamated and the uh, austrian and the prussian corps have amalgamated they're literally uh, going to be uh, engaging really soon uh, and no to the Prussians, the uh, French Third Corps is also moving in on their flank, and uh, so there's going to be a, a monumental, dare I say, campaign deciding battle uh, in this quarter here. Uh, so, um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to move it onto the uh, Game of Squares um, board, which I'll uh, show you shortly after this video. Uh, just going to come down to the bottom here where the uh, Russian contingent are still rolling along, uh, still again being plagued with uh, terrible dice rolls and, <laughs> and even worse card movements. So uh, other than their cavalry, which is uh, seems to be moving freely, uh, almost independently of the uh, infantry, um, they're um, just basically slow slogging their way up the hill, so to speak. Um, it looks like it's going to be pretty much over by the time they reach there, uh, barring a miracle. Um, there's a lot of French outpost movements and stuff uh, that's just basically trying to block their way to allow the uh, three French corps to uh, finish off the Austrians and the Prussians. Um, I'll leave the campaign map there for now and I'll uh, be back in a sec with the uh, Game of Squares board. Hi, right, and uh, what you have before you is the uh, Game of Squares um, map board. And um, what we're looking at is uh, we're looking in an easterly direction, and a small village over here, uh, the crossroads, and uh, the river running parallel with the road. Um, what we've got is the uh, Austrians and the Prussians corps are going to be moving up in this direction. The um, French 7th uh, and 2nd uh, Corp are in this area here and they're hoping to spring the trap with the 4th uh, Corp moving in here. Uh, the French I reckon are going to be playing a waiting game to try and get the Prussians in this sort of area here before they start the uh, battle. This will allow the 4th uh, Corp to come in on their flank really quickly and hopefully uh, catch them and uh, destroy the uh, corpse. Um, the Prussians and the Austrians, as far as I know, there are two French corps in this direction here. Uh, they're going to lead with their cavalry brigades, and uh, which will be sweeping across in this direction and in this direction. And uh, obviously uh, the main assaults will be going in on the crossroads and the uh, village itself. Um, that's the main battle plan. Um, as before, uh, the uh, counter is going to be uh, moving on the board. Uh, this time the counter is going to be representing uh, an actual division instead of a brigade because uh, potentially we'll have five corps moving on this uh, battle board. So it's going to be a large battle, probably one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, six mil battle I've played. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Going to uh, play this one out uh, next weekend and show you the results and uh, then we'll move on to the battle itself which you'll uh, hopefully play the following week so yeah good lots to look forward to um feeling a lot better now so <laughs> i can actually stand up now which is really good um so yeah fantastic uh as always thanks for watching and um see you later bye for now